Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a quick and dirty tutorial on core control. How to undervolt, how to overclock, as well just to create uh, profiles for your different applications that you want to run or games. So for this to work, you need to be at least on the 1.2.7 version and get from the core control site. Um, I'll put all the links into the description as well. As you can see, all the different distributions will support it. Uh, the door of instance, I remember, didn't have the latest version, but luckily I'm on Nobara, so Glorious Egg Rolls already compiled this. If it's not in your specific distributions repositories, you'll have to build it from source. As you can see here, here's the installation instructions. If you have to build it yourself, you can just follow this and compile it yourself, and then it should be on the latest version, which is 1.2.7. Um, very important is is that you need to follow the following setup instructions as well. That core control gets launched on session startup. You have to execute this command. I'll show you how to double check that that's been done. Same for don't ask user password. You need to make sure that you have to first view which version of Polkit you're using and then create the necessary file for that. And lastly, you need to add the following to your bootloader config so that you can get the full AMG GPU controls. So just a quick overview of how core control works. You go to system, shows you the version that you're on. Here it will show you your kernel version, your Mesa version. Here it will show you some details for your graphics card. And here it will show you some details for your CPU. Um, very important is that you want to enable this and you want to enable this if you don't enable this then it will you get a pop-up every time that you launch or boot into your system okay so you get two types of profiles you get a global profile in other words this will apply to everything and then you get application specific profiles i normally create it per game that i'm playing let's just have a quick look at the global profile so for the global profile on the gpu I'm just setting a custom fan curve, although the normal usage, my, my fans don't even spin up. So this is not really needed, and that's why I'm also not doing any control here. The only thing that I do set is I, I'm using the power save frequency governor. Let's look at Cyberpunk, the application profile that I've created. I'm using the custom performance scaling, and I'm using the performance frequency governor. Then for GPU, I'm set the custom fan curve, performance mode is set to advanced, power limit raised all the way to the max. I've done some undervolting on this. I can do a minus 95 offset. This might be different for different games, so you'll have to test and find where it's stable. The process I followed to the undervolt is I, I first started off with 15 millivolt increments and built it up all the way until it was unstable and then I backed it off by 5 and 95 is the most stable one for me. Then for instance for your GPU system clocks you can use for instance a site like Tech Power Up. I've got a 6600 XT. And there it will show you your game clock and your boost clock and your memory clock. And I've got a the Strix, so I know that my memory clock is 2000 megahertz, and of course my game clock is already been OC'd from the factory, so I've not really done any OCing there. So another thing just around the system clock is that from, from all the tutorials that I've watched for overclocking and undervolting the RX 600 GPUs, everybody says that you need to keep these two values within 100 of each other, so I just set it like that. And now another very important thing that you'll notice is, is that the memory only shows 1000 here. And if you look in Tech Power Up, for instance, it shows 2000 megahertz. The reason for this is, is that because it's double data rate in Linux, it only shows half. So it will show 1000. So if you're overclocking your memory, just be very careful to not go too high. I've already installed Core Control. Everything's working. So just making sure that it's been added to auto start as you can see it's in the auto start folder there it is everything's fine there yeah i've added to the whole kit and i created the core control rule everything's fine very important is that you need to add it to your group 
And as you can see as well, you're in my grab menu. I've added the additional part here that's needed for full MG view control. And then for instance, in my case, because I'm using Nobara, I'm lucky enough to have core control, the version that's required in the Nobara base repository. A quick way to just check what the settings is before you start tinkering is to run the following command. As you can see here, here's my system clock. Minimum, maximum. The same for my memory clock, 97, 1000. So that's correct. Okay, so now I'm going to try to launch PowerPunk and if my application profile work. Yeah, and as you can see, it's locked to 1000 megahertz. So in other words, 2000. So the application profile is working as it should. Um, then just a quick way to check. As you can see there, the system clock has changed from the previous. And the memory clock is still exactly the same. And now also you can see that there's a 95 millivolt offset applied to the voltage. So the same I recommend for you doing the memory overclocking is just to go in very small increments. I'm going to first do just the 25 in there, apply, save. Now if I go back here, see it's still on 1000. Okay, so now I'm just going to launch Cyberpunk again. And as you can see, the frequency is now climbed to 1024. So the 25 megahertz overclock that I applied is working correctly. Now I'm just going to double check again here in the command line. And as you can see, it's now on 1025. So the overclock on the memory is working correctly. After the overclock, it's now running 25 megahertz higher than at normal. And obviously this is doubled, so it's actually 50. So it's actually 2050 megahertz it's running on. So in Windows, I could do up to 1200. So in other words, 2400 megahertz overclock. But... Yeah, I'm not really overclocking the card. I just prefer to undervolt it. Overclocking is not something I'm really doing at the moment. Maybe in a few years time when the card is really struggling, then I'll probably do overclocking on it. So thank you very much for watching. If there's any uh, recommendations for content that you want me to create, please go ahead and mention it in the comments and have a great day. Take care. Cheers.